What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're talking about this week's Triple One Event Week, as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for October 22nd through October 28th, 2020. So to start, the Halloween content they bring back every year is now available. So this event week might be extended to accommodate Halloween on the 31st. I will update the pinned comment to the proper event week dates if any changes are made. Anyways, the current casino podium vehicle is the Anis S80RR. So this vehicle is primarily based on the Nissan R90C and released about a year ago with the Casino DLC update. This vehicle normally costs about $2.5 million. Now performance wise this vehicle is in the supercars class and it is a very fast car around most tracks because of its incredible handling. It has some of the best handling out of all the cars in the supercar class in my opinion and it has decent power as well to back it up. Now there are some very tight tracks where the s rr can actually beat the Emirates and the Krieger which is very impressive. So for those of you who are very competitive racers and like to have kind of like the best competitive race car for almost any situation, this is definitely one of those extra cars you want to own. Also this car is the only supercar in the class to have a center seating position which is very cool. Obviously the open wheel cars have that but as far as a supercar class, the S80RR is the only one so far. I really wish they would have given the GP1 a center seating position. but. That's a rant for another time. So for those of you who maybe paid full price for the S80RR and are angry about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for roughly $1.6 million depending on your upgrades. Again, to avoid confusion, please note the way you get for the vehicle it depends on what you paid for it. The podium vehicle will not sell for any money. I'm specifically referring to the S80RR that people paid full price for. So is the S80RR worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? I'm going to say 100% yes. Performance wise it has some of the best handling in the supercars class in my opinion and it's pretty competitive on some tracks. So starting off with the property discounts we have 40% off the nightclubs which is pretty cool as well as 30% off the upgrades and the renovations for them as well. So for those of you who maybe want to add some upgrades to your existing nightclub or maybe move to a different location now is the best time to do it. Moving on to vehicle discounts, so we do have the same Sports Classics car discounts yet again for the 10th week in a row. So as I stated in my last video and many videos before that at this point, but I believe these discounts will continue until the next DLC update comes out most likely in December. Moving on, we do have one new Legendary Motorsport discount for this week, which is 30% off the Pegasi Reaper. So I personally like the look of this car, however the customization is not that great. Pretty much the only options for this car are rear spoiler upgrades, which not really that great. Also performance wise, it's not very good either in comparison to the top supercars. Really the only reason you'd buy this car is if you truly like the looks of it. Moving on to the 7 San Andreas website, we have 30% off the Romero hearse. So not exactly an expensive car to begin with, but I guess it's just part of the Halloween theme. Moving along, we have 30% off the Sanctus, which is basically the Ghost Rider motorcycle. It's a very quirky bike with a lot of customization. Obviously, it's not a fast bike that's going to break any records, but it's decent. Next up, we have the Frankenstein and the Lurcher returning for the Halloween event week. Remember, guys, that you can only buy these two vehicles during the Halloween event week. Once it's over, you have to wait till the Halloween event week next year to buy them. So. I'm surprised they only put the Lurcher on sale, which is quite strange to me. You'd think they would have put it on both, but I guess the Frankenstodge is more desirable, so that makes sense. So anyways, 30% off the Lurcher in the muscle car class. Not really that competitive, and you know, it's just a quirky Halloween vehicle. Pretty much what it's made for. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the RC tank. So the RC tank is pretty much like the RC Bandito but with a gun instead of a bomb attached to it. It's pretty overpowered as it's fully off the radar with decent armor and a gun on top so I'm sure most of you own it already but for those of you who don't this is a good price. And that's it for vehicle discounts, not that many great discounts this week but the Halloween stuff coming back every year is always nice. As far as login items you can get this orange dot tech mask, the lemon sports track pants and the Lemon Sports Track Top, all these for free just for logging in this week, which is pretty awesome. Also for this event week, the peyote plants are back, so you can transform into random animals, which is pretty cool, especially for the Halloween theme. 
Moving on to the triple money stuff. So we have triple money NRP on free mode events, which is pretty awesome. Some of these usually pay pretty decently. So with triple money, some of them should pay over 150,000, which is pretty good. We also have triple money NRP on the bunker slasher, diamond slasher, and the missile base slasher adversary modes, which is pretty awesome. And lastly, we have triple money NRP on nightclub popularity. This one is quite random, but I guess every little bit helps. As far as double money, we have double money NRP on Halloween themed adversary modes such as Beast vs. Slasher, Come Out to Play, Condemned, Lost vs. Damned, and Slasher. So that's awesome for those of you who enjoy the adversary modes. There's definitely a large variety to choose from this week. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only. I'll leave instructions in the pinned comment how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we have 60% off the Deluxo, which is amazing. So that is an insane deal for that car. You know, the flying back to the future car that shoots missiles and all that good stuff. Definitely a very good deal there. And lastly, for Prime Gaming, we have 100% off the Vespucci Canals nightclub, making it absolutely free. Again, guys, if you don't see a discount on the Deluxo or the free Vespucci Canals nightclub, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do it is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have, of course, the RC Bandito Time Trial Cemetery. So, very fitting for the Halloween event week. Moving on, this week's normal time trial is Fort Saint Kudo. I highly recommend either the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, or Batty 801 for this time trial. And this week's premium race is the Supercar Race Business Trip. I highly recommend either the Vest 8, Emerus, or Krieger for this race. Every Friday, I post a guy to how to easily beat the time trials on Premium Race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways, guys, hope this was helpful. This event week is not that great in terms of discounts, but the bonus money of this week is pretty good in my opinion, with lots of variety, and of course, all the Halloween content to go along with it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.